Yeah, it's a little cool and windy out here. But we're going to get the job done. Hi folks, I'm getting ready to go to Bonfire via kayak. I do this about once a year in the spring. It's kind of a shakedown and also a good reason to get out on the water in any event. Uh, I'm hungry for bar barbecue, so <laughs> let's do it. It's something to do on a great sunny Saturday. Get some barbecue. <laughs> Y'all have a good day.
I tell you what, this Cox Ferry Lake is my home launch point. I only live around the corner, so I'm spoiled. But this is one of the best places in all of Myrtle Beach and all of the Waccamaw River where it's the most scenic. And I tell you what, you don't even have to bring your kayak. There's people that'll take you out on tour, like Mike and Luke. He's sticking here behind me. He's hiding. Guys, uh, I just saw y'all with the crew people you had to just finish enough tour uh did you have a good day beautiful day yeah it was definitely sunnier earlier and now it's a little bit more gray oh yeah wind is kicking in and still it's a beautiful breeze but it was still I, yeah i just came in right behind you and, boy it was a downhill run but uh with the wind behind me i beat my own personal best record of coming from downtown conway with a good stomach full of barbecue yeah <laughs> look you've been working with these guys for a while you doing good I'm doing pretty good, yeah. It's by far the most relaxing drive I think I've ever had. And you're going to be sticking with it for a good bit. I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? This uh, The Black River Outdoors has been coming up here and working out. You're basically based out of Georgetown, right? Exactly. The company's been established for about 25 years now. We took over April of last year. Uh -huh. We've been doing tours out of basically the same area. This is one of my favorite. It's very... And uh, we also go out of Wakawachi, which is also a Cypress Forest tour. Yeah. I saw also you do salt marsh tours as well. What's that all about? We do. We go out of the Murrells Inlet into the state park area. We have uh, also the naturalist that comes from the state park. She does a tour um, every Tuesday. Uh -huh. And uh, then we'll also take our guides out into the area and kind of just show off the birds, uh, the marine life. Uh, the occasional sea turtle will pop up and say hi. Um, so yeah, shark out there too, actually. We've wow. seen it. Yeah, if you like Plenty birds. That's well, now, how many there. people do you normally take out on tour, Luke? Uh, depends on the day, really. I mean, I can handle up to about, I'd say, like 13 people at one 13? time. 13? Yeah. yeah. Well, we better, better let one person stay yeah. behind just for good luck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, bring them all. Hey, all right. bring the whole family. Six to 60, blind, crippled, or crazy, it don't matter. Just get on down here and go kayaking. I tell you what, Myrtle Beach is a wonderful place, but once you've been to the beach, you're always looking for something else. And hey, instead of going doing a bungee jump, you need to go experience the real South Carolina nature. Oh, yeah. This beautiful Spanish moss hanging from the trees, and the Waccamaw River is the last pristine blackwater river east of the Mississippi. It has got history galore, and these guys are going to be able to show you all of it up close and personal. Hey, I tell you what, Mike, Luke, it's been great seeing you guys. Looking forward to seeing you out on the water. And uh, being a neighbor, if you ever you need any help, I'm in with you, all right? All right. Appreciate you. Hey, folks, we've really had a great day out here. I'm full of, I'm getting ready to go to bed because I'm so sleepy. I've got so much barbecue in me, and I had a good day exercising. Hey, we'll see you again next time when I'm in my element.